Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So today is the day where Grammy nominations are being announced all over social media and some of your faves are trending. Beyonce has literally been trending since I woke up this morning. Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, all types of people are trending because a lot of them have been nominated for something concerning the Grammys. So what's going down is this. Basically, Meg Thee Stallion got her first ever Grammy nomination. She's been nominated for not one, but four Grammys. Who could ask for more? The number of the day is four. She's nominated for Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Best Rap Performance, and Best Rap Song. So this is amazing for a female artist. Um, so she found out about some of these nominations while she was reading off other Grammy nominations for the Grammy boards. And then she took to uh, social media. She took to Instagram and Twitter. And she basically says, hotties, we got four Grammy nominations. Hotties, head to my Twitter to celebrate with me. So what Meg is nominated for, she's nominated for the Savage Remix with Beyonce. And that's also up for Record of the Year and Best Rap Performance and Song. So that is a big deal. A lot of people are wondering like, why WAP wasn't up there. But even though WAP was a major record, um, it was not submitted. They had enough time to submit it um, because the Grammys, they stopped taking submissions after August 31st and WAP was released August 7th. But for some reason, Cardi B didn't submit it. And people are thinking she probably held back um, in order to submit it for next year's Grammys. Who knows? So right now it's about the whole I'm a savage, which did really well. I mean, the original with just Megan was fire. That was viral. And I think what really helped that song was TikTok. I mean, you couldn't go anywhere without people doing the I'm a savage dance. Hell, I even damn did it. OK, that's how viral it was. And then to have Beyonce jump on that track said a lot, you know, and that was the first time we really I mean, we've heard Beyonce rap before, but that was like the first time she really killed it to a lot of people, you know, so that's. That song definitely went viral. Like I said, the only thing that ever bothered me about the remix was the whole demon time being mentioned in there. But hey, that's me. That's how I feel. You do you and live your best life, okay? So Megan is nominated for four Grammys. And so shortly after this went viral all over social media, Nicki Minaj took to Twitter and she said this. Never forget the Grammys didn't give me my best new artist award when I had seven songs simultaneously charting on the billboard and the biggest first week than any female rapper in the last decade went on to inspire a generation they gave it to a white man bon iver hashtag pink friday so that's what Nicki Minaj stated on Twitter and, like I said, on Instagram, no lies detected, okay? She didn't lie. She's never won a Grammy, um, and back then, she was one of the hottest female artists, and she has no Grammy to show for it, which, to me, she spoke about... Um, earlier last year about why she felt she was blacklisted from the Grammys and it goes back to that award show that she did um, where she had the Pope on there and all that stuff and she had gotten a backlash for that and the Grammys wanted her to apologize and she refused to apologize for her art and her creativity so she feels like that's why she was blacklisted. They came into my dressing room uh -huh. and said we don't think you should perform. We don't want you to perform anymore. This makes no sense. And there was no one there that even spoke up for me. Like, they didn't care to explain it. Nobody on either side spoke. Yeah. And this is after I had just done a bunch of commercials with LL Cool J to promote the Grammys. After I did everything they asked, huh. and I said, no, I'm going to perform, of course. And then when the performance came out and it received backlash from the Catholic Church, yeah. Ken Ehrlich reached out to my then management and said, can you please tell Nikki to stop speaking about it? It's my brand. I have to explain myself. I'm the one getting backlash. And I didn't understand the power that that man had to mm. start to completely blackball me for the rest of my career. But that's exactly what happened. Mm. So he basically told me, you gonna go, you go out there or else. And when I went out there, because now all of my fans are expecting a performance, I'm not going to just not perform. And I just did all this to, pr to promote your show and your viewers. Right. 
So I went out there, and he blackballed me for the rest of my career. Mm. And he then made me feel afraid to speak on it because thinking, well, if you want to, if you do ever want to get a Grammy, you better not speak about it. Now, being that I'm at the place now that I don't give a fuck, right? Because I am a legend and I'm gonna die an icon regardless. Talk your shit. I can now let everyone know that the reason why a song like Monster or what you name it yeah. doesn't have a Grammy, that's why. It's because a little black girl thought that she could go against this powerful white man mm. and say, no, I'm going to perform. I have you. You're not making any sense. I promoted the fuck out of this show for you. And this makes no sense. Yeah. Because of that little backlash, he told me I should have basically lied and said the Grammys didn't know what I was going to perform, which made no sense. Somebody would have believed that anyway. Um, and I think that makes a lot of sense because we haven't really seen her nominated because she's never been nominated for anything since then. And I think that, honestly, the Grammys threw her under the bus with that because before you can do anything, there has to be approval. So the Grammy people, whoever was running the Grammys at that time, they knew that that was the performance she was going to do. They knew that those were her visuals. And she even stated that she was initially going to do a different song, and they asked her to do that Roman song. So I think that, you know, they kind of threw her under the bus with that one. And she suffered, as far as the Grammys goes, for it since then. But, you know, the awards don't really matter like that because she's still successful and she's still rich, regardless of having a Grammy or not. A lot of top artists don't have Grammys. Now, another controversy that's brewing is that a lot of people are like, okay, I'm confused. Meg has all these hip-hop and rap nominations, but yet and still, there's no nomination for Little Baby. And Little Baby had one of the biggest rap albums of the year. Matter of fact, he went double platinum, which was very, which is very hard to do in this day and age. Like, let's just keep that real. It's very hard. And this man went double platinum, and he's the first artist in 2020 to do so. So for them not to even nominate him, that says a lot. Also, Roddy Rich, um, he dropped a new album earlier this year called "Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial." That also went double platinum, but yet and still he's not nominated. So a lot of people are really confused about this. And so it just goes to show you that they definitely play favorites because there's no reason why Roddy Rich and Little Baby are not nominated for Album of the Year because those albums sold numbers, rave reviews. People love their music. I heard their music all summer long. So they definitely should have been nominated for Album of the Year. It just doesn't make any sense. Also, The Weeknd wasn't nominated either. So a lot of this seems to be causing a lot of controversy. The fandoms are definitely in their feelings. Um, so much so that Meg took to social media, like not even, you know, breaking news, honey, like 50 seconds ago. Um, she took to her um, Twitter and her Instagram and she basically posted this. And she says, tell a hater. And then she uses the middle finger emoji with the tongue out. And um, people are saying that it's for her Fashion Nova line. She's trying to promote her line. Other folks are saying that she's possibly throwing shots at people who are throwing shade at her. Or the fans of other artists who are feeling some type of way because she's been nominated for four Grammys. Um, other people are saying it's a lyric to her song. Honey, this entire industry is shady, okay? Lyric or not, we read through lines very clearly around these parts, okay? Anyways, congratulations to all those who were nominated. Good luck. Hope you guys win. Um, and to those who were not nominated, do not let this deter you and make you feel bad about yourself or lower your self-esteem one, one iota. Because at the end of the day, the great Tupac did not have a Grammy. And look how his music changed the world. So just because you don't receive an award, do not allow an award to validate you or invalidate you. And I will leave on that note. All right, y'all. We got some breaking news. I was minding my business, getting ready to edit and upload my video. Honey, I started getting mad DMs and messages. Shout out to Bran. Shout out to Eva and all the fandoms in my damn DM right now. So I guess while I was editing, it went down on Twitter, okay? So from what I'm being told, Nicki Minaj is throwing more shade towards Meg, okay? So what went down is that basically Nicki Minaj did a post and delete where she went and she posted about cash apps. As we all know, earlier today, Meg Thee Stallion had posted, Hotties, let's celebrate a Grammy nomination in my new album. Drop your cash app, hashtag 
Good News Megan to win. So she was giving away $100 for everybody who had hashtagged it and, you know, sent her a message. So Nikki ended up writing this on Twitter. She wrote, I wish I invented Cash App. Bah ha 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 ha, chow. It had over 1,200 retweets and then it had been deleted. She quickly deleted it, but people screenshotted it. Many people saw it. So then that right there had all the fans all up on Nikki's, you know, Twitter and stuff. And so they went to her likes and they were noticing that she was liking stuff concerning Cardi. And so one of her barbs had said, I am Cardi B. Maybe if you and Nicki Minaj collab, people will chill, LOL. Well, Nicki Minaj liked it. And before her barbs come over here with the bullshit, uh, my tea sippers, we don't play that shit. I ask for receipts. I don't, I don't do all that he said, she said. I need receipts. They screen recorded it to show that it is a real tweet that Nicki Minaj really liked it. So nobody doctored this. We don't, we don't do fake receipts around these parts. Okay, you go elsewhere for fake shit. Now, on top of that, she ended up, people were telling her like, oh, you need to unlike this, Nikki. It's going to start a bunch of drama. You need to unlike this. She liked it for about an hour. Then she finally went and then she unliked it. But again, too late because half the internet got the screenshot and the screen recording. So then on top of that, what else happened is um, you could see people talking underneath the comments and somebody saying, what did Megan possibly do to that lady? I generally hope that she's not mad because she worked with Cardi, childish to say the least. And then somebody else replies and they say, well, Cardi did say that old girl said she would stop fucking with certain people if they collaborated with her. Then somebody else says, child, she can only be mad because of that reason, laugh my ass off. So that was people talking under the post where she liked it. So now if that's not crazy enough, honey, this whole Grammy thing has bought out the drama in 2020 with all these damn artists. So right now on Twitter, on top of Meg trending, Nikki trending, Cardi B's also trending because her and Wiz Khalifa done got into it. So this whole situation is just even messier. So then what ended up happening is that nobody... Nobody at all. Here comes Wiz Khalifa. And Wiz Khalifa um, went and he retweeted something that somebody else wrote. So somebody named um, Nikki Barb says, Cardi winning a Grammy when Nicki Minaj didn't is the biggest proof that they don't know shit about music. So then Wiz Khalifa retweets that person and says, most self-made artists have this problem. So, of course, all of Barty gang started attacking him, going off. So then Cardi B took to social media and she says, I don't understand why niggas entertain tweets that pit successful women against each other. Y'all not tired of that? Especially when you was rooting hard when a bitch was at the bottom. Then she goes and she shows a DM of Wiz Khalifa and her DMs back in 2016. And she says, this nigga was in my DMs in 2016. They really support you when you grinding at the bottom. Then it's a different story once you make it. And Wiz said this to her. He says, you got your cause and you're sticking to it. Don't stray away from things that are important to you and make you you. You're doing a great job and the way you address things is admirable. Keep your light shining and don't let others take it. Peace and love. So a lot of people were dragging him about that. Then Wiz came and he basically caught himself trying to quickly apologize. And we believe the reason why Wiz is apologizing, honey, is because Wiz and Cardi B are on the same label. So somebody from Atlantic probably caught Wiz and was like, you better clean this shit up. I don't know what this what this shit is, what you get involved in female shit, but you better clean it up. Delete all that shit. 
But you better damn clean it up. So then Wiz ends up coming onto social media and he says this. He ends up retweeting Cardi B and he says, damn, that was good advice. I still support you. Nothing's changed. You're self-made in my book as well. So that's was Wiz trying to, you know, backtrack and, you know, pussy pop and shit. So then Offset, honey, this is how crazy today has been. Offset then jumps in the beef. OK, so Offset says this. Niggas be hoes. Shake my head. And so, you know, of course, Barty gangs, they're like, clock them, sir. You know what I'm saying? Let them know about himself. So now if that's not crazy enough, not only did Cardi B's husband have her back, but her co-writer, Party Partisan, he came out and he started going off on Instagram by posting salt pictures. OK, so this is what Party posted. He basically posted salty being salty when you get upset over something little and then proceeded to post a pretzel and salt shakers and salty ass fries. So that was definitely messy. And then Hennessy Carolina, who is Cardi B's sister, also jumped in the fray. So this is what Hennessy Carolina took to Instagram to say. She says, people need to stop blaming my sister because someone lost 10 years prior to other artists a whole decade later. And my sister wasn't even around for Invasion of Privacy was a bop from the first to the last song. They were all gold or platinum songs. We from the Bronx, home of the hip hop, and we've been listening to hip hop since birth and actually live and about this life. How you expect her not to put out heat? So that is what Hennessy Carolina had to say, hoodie. This Grammy season has just been crazy. This was this started off as a good damn day. And this has just shown a lot of people's, you know, animosity, you know, folks feeling away, you know, and as far as the whole Nicki Minaj and Meg the Stallion thing, I've told y'all this from day one. I've always felt that Meg is a busybody and she floats from people to people. You know, she has, you know, she's a social climber. And I believe that when she was with Nicki and they were throwing shit at Cardi about writing and stuff like that, you can't tell me she wasn't kicking it with Nicki and going in on Cardi because she's around Nicki at the time. <laughs> So, you know, Nikki's thinking this is a new person that she can be cool with and, you know, have a, you know, um, camaraderie with. And then she turns around and all of a sudden now Meg Thee Stallion is doing a song with Cardi B. And WAP ended up blowing up. And I think that that does make her feel away. Like I said before, I feel like, you know, Meg does a lot of, you know, going from click to click, person to person, you know, just like during the whole situation with uh, Tori and Kylie, she was at Kylie's house before she was hanging with Jordan. Now we see her latest new video and who do, who does she have in the video? She has Black China and she has Jordan in the video, almost as a way to, you know, throw shade at Kylie. So she, she does her little sneaky shit that I peep. She does her shade. She does things, but she throws rocks and she hides her hands. And I don't think she really wants the smoke with Nikki because let's keep it real. Most of the people who were really supporting Meg were the barbs. They were really supporting her because she was, you know, with Nikki. And then when she flipped and started running with Cardi, that kind of turned off a lot of barbs. A lot of barbs still rock with Meg, but you got a segment of the barbs who do not fool with her. Trust me, because they tell me, okay? So, I don't know. This whole situation's messy. I'm just here for the good music, you know what I'm saying, and some of this tea. But, yeah, let's go ahead. I wasn't expecting all this shit. I was trying to upload and mind my business and go lay down, and, honey, my phone just started blowing up. T, T, I know you editing. Some more shit don't went down. So, thank you, guys. Thank you for everybody who's been hitting me up, sending me screenshots, and keeping me in the loop. So that's the quick breakdown of what's going on right now. Not sure what's going to happen, but I do feel like, yes, definitely people feel a way about Meg getting four nominations. You got her fan base who's super happy for her. And you got other people who are like, no, she has not been in the game long enough. Her albums don't sell like that. How is she nominated for a Grammy? 
Like, her albums do not sell that well. It's going to be very interesting, okay, to see how all of this stuff plays out. I'm here for all this fuckery and tea, okay? So thank y'all for taking time out to watch this video. Make sure if you like it, you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you share the video. Last but not least, don't forget to, you know, subscribe if you have not subscribed. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad, honey. So I will talk to you guys later. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Deuces. Thank you.